don't want to lose my balance when I'm staring at stars. I just want to believe that we better than we are. Hi guys, ODC here, just checking out a new account, uh, been playing this one for about 6 hours, uh, just wanted to go over a few quick bits that um, I found useful as I kind of forgot what it was like to start out on this game again. Uh, so let's have a look, so I've been playing for about 6 hours, uh, this time around I've picked El Hain. Just to mix it up a little bit, I know Kale's pretty much the best starter. I did do that on my original account, uh, but I figured we'd mix it up a little bit here. So first thing we're looking at, when you first start, you get yourself whichever starter you picked, and you end up with Sniper. Now, some people tend to work on Sniper due to the fact that she's got uh, quite good ability for an uncommon. Uh, attack one enemy two times, uh, has an extra 15% chance of inflicting a critical hit. Uh, fills this champion's turn meter by 15% on each critical hit, so that's pretty good. And also she's got an AoE uh, on a four turn cooldown, which attacks all enemies two times, 10% chance of placing a 15% decrease, decrease speed for one turn. Uh, not bad, and as I say, because you start with her, lots of people tend to invest in her. Um, I kind of didn't really bother a little bit. I mean, I did make her uh, three stars. Of course, she starts at two. Uh, now, what I found quite handy in the campaign, obviously, it's down to RNG. But for each stage in the campaign, what I would probably suggest doing is maybe finding one that looks useful and trying to grind out. Also, the thing is, you would get the gear for it as well. Now, when you first start, offense gear is pretty good. Health's pretty good as well, depending on the type of champion you've got and how they scale or who you can get hold of, basically. So, what I did on this one, to be honest with you, I got this guy straight away uh, on one of my first runs through. So, I ended up the second rare. Now, even though he's not the greatest, he isn't the worst. So with him, especially when you're first starting out, so he attacks one enemy two times. Uh, attack one enemy removes two random buffs from the target. Uh, these are all based on attack, by the way, due to the fact that he's an attack-based champion. Right, and his last one attacks one enemy. Enemies killed by this skill cannot be revived. So that could be pretty handy, maybe in Arena, you know, in Ice Golems, if you know what that is as of yet when you're first starting. So I managed to get him on a whim but I've been using him, so um, the one that I would actually say is worth having is this one, Spirit Host. Uh, now the reason I say Spirit Host would be handy when you first start out, she gives a 10% speed aura lead in all battles, so you could use her in arena, you can take her along in dungeons, 10% might not sound like a lot, but it is when you first start this game, trust me. Uh, she also removes... Um, removes debuffs from the allies and puts a blocks debuff on them for for a turn that can be very powerful when you first start and she also increases attack so this character here basically will just improve your roster straight away you know i mean you haven't got if you haven't got that already which you don't when you first start uh the other one you can get from here is graybeard graybeard is actually okay uh obviously when first starting after playing the game a while you might outgrow him but having a provoke fairly early into the game can help obviously you want to provoke everyone but one's better than zero so i take it uh which is like a taunt basically so he'll taunt for a turn if this comes off if this comes off on someone they'd only be able to use their basic attack on him which could save your team from taking an aoe for example so it can be pretty good. If you're doing it manually, you could probably pick who you want to try and do this to. Just to try and, you know, give yourself a bit more survivability. He plays his shield. He's pretty useful. And also has a chance to freeze a target. This one's based on defense, which makes sense. This one's based on attack, which makes no sense considering he is a defense-based champion. But anyway, we we'll just get on with it. Alright, so that's him. Alright, so now... I have managed to grind up to the speed artifacts level, which is a uh, palace of Arabia. If that's if I'm even saying that right. Now, in this place, you can get another rare called Eris. Now, Eris uh, attacks one enemy, grants an extra turn if the target's killed. 
So if you have her slower than maybe someone who does an AOE, she'll come in, clear up one, get another turn, clear up two, get another turn, and so on and so on, and just clean up, basically. So she can be pretty good, pretty clutch in certain situations early on. Uh, right, she removes one random debuff from all allies, 60% chance to place uh, increased speed, 15% for two turns and that can go up to 30 once you start ascending her which is making your stars pink or purple whatever color the hell that is right so she's another one obviously getting these guys is based on just a random drop rate so you might not get them uh, the other thing you would do i mean i'll try that because you're still getting xp and gear while doing it obviously the other thing that you can do is summon your mystery shards uh so far hmm, I've done a few, got one rare out of it, and I've done probably about 60, 70, I suppose. So uh, the rates on it, you've got a 1.4% chance, so don't bank on it. You might have probably about the same chance of getting one of them guys to drop in the campaign. So you're after improving your roster in general. Now, don't spread yourself too thinly, which is what I always do when I play these games. So if you can see, now I've taken her up to 4 star while always already having her up to 4 star. Now the good thing is when you rank one of these lot up, the other one will be able to do the damage and keep things rolling. But I also, because I've been using Conqueror and also Sister Militant and now <laughs> Greybeard, so I'm already kind of all in. I want to work on Mother Superior just to get a decent heal in my team as well. So I got her from one of the shards. She decreases attack by 25%. Handy against maybe a boss of some kind. Heals allies 30% of her max HP. So what you do is make her quite tanky in terms of her health. And probably defense as well to be fair. Because you're not really relying on this lady for attacks. There's no point. You might as well keep her alive. And then in turn she'll keep the rest of your team alive. So she's another one. Uh, rares are pretty good to have when you first start and now in terms of uncommons just pulled this guy Saurus I know that he can be turned into an absolute beast it's going to be gear though you're going to need gear you'll be able to take his skills up quite quickly from pulling him in shards but it's going to be gear so at the minute you could still use him be handy a bit like uh, sister militant where you can use them early and then you kind of outgrow them. Saurus, you could probably keep longer than Sister Militant. And all these ones I've pulled, I'm going to have to start ranking up in order to take my rares that I'm using to the next level. Early in the game, I would say don't really bother with dungeons, but it's worth maybe popping into some of the keeps if you want to increase the power of some of your characters a little bit, uh, like your magic keep. So if you want to grind out a couple levels on this to get your starter up, because all your starters are going to be magic affinity. So it's worth maybe, you know, spending a couple energy in there. And also, it can be worth, if you can get something decent from a dragon, like maybe a three star lifesteal piece, or three star speed piece, with decent secondaries, worth getting. A day set may be handy, but again, once someone's sleeping and you hit them, they're going to get back up, they're going to wake up, so not as good. The one that would really come in handy would be in here, but this one's really hard when you're, for, when you're brand new. You can't really get into it. None of your people have enough hits to take that. I mean, the shield's only five on the early stages, but even then, it's still hard. He heals himself, you know, but this is what you ideally want. If you can get one of these early in the game, then it will help with waves, dungeons, everything, so... That's what I'm going to do this time round. I didn't get into here till late in my main account. And even then, I still ain't got that much stun gear. But I think I'm going to try to do things a bit more efficiently in this account. Um, other than the fact that I've already started spread farming. So ignore that. Don't do the spread farming, people. Try and focus on your main characters. Unless you get something that's godly that needs to be done straight away. Arena's another thing. Uh, arena tokens. Try and get them. I think it's about 50 your Great Hall isn't something that you'd think about straight away, but if you can get a couple of these in, what do you need? You need 50, 50 medallions or medals 
whatever the hell you want to call these things. So when you first get in here, accuracy is the big one. Crit damage would be another one. HP as well, to be honest with you, what you really like. I mean, attack. Attack's probably the last one. Attack and resist, I wouldn't really pay that much attention to. But defense is really good because a lot of defense-based champions are really, really powerful in the game. Uh, and accuracy, so you can land your poison, land your decreased speed, all the things you want to you wanna land, basically heal reduction. But it's got it sectioned out into the different affinities. So you've got your magic, spirit, force, and void. Okay, now void are hard to come by because you can only get them from void shards. They tend to be better than standard affinities in terms of the abilities, just for the fact that they're more rare. But yeah, so the first few things I would say, so if I was to give any hints or tips for new players, uh, grind out campaign until you get stuck. Don't level up too many bits of gear initially because you want to try and hold on to your silver. Uh, try and get two to three star, mainly three star at the minute on your champions. Wouldn't waste too much time upgrading level, you know, one star gear it's not really going to be that useful see things like this need to be replaced but at the moment i don't have the luxury of having a load of it but yeah i'd say that uh pop into dungeons just temporarily whether it's to get your minotaur scrolls to give yourself a little bit more you know or get yourself a decent little bit of gear out of dragons or ice golems if you can complete it uh spiders i would say stay away from you can get jewelry but I don't know how useful that's going to be in the initial stages. So my next step now would be to get Elhane up to 5 stars. And then also maybe get my Conqueror up to 4 star, which I shouldn't, shouldn't take me too long. What I ideally do is finish this guy, this guy, and I'll keep Saurus. Probably this guy. Get these lot up to 20, then use some more 2 stars to make them 3 stars. So I use I get Conqueror done up, and basically yeah that will be it for uh, tips for now. Uh, I will come back and cover a few other bits, uh, and also check how far I managed to get. So at the moment, we are looking at a player power of six three six three six. It breaks it all down here. Now obviously some of that's artifacts, champion power, mastery, and great hall. See so this is what I mean. So with the great hall, it can just increase a bit not by much initially but it will increase across the board and also masteries when you're getting the scrolls from the minotaur again don't mess around too much with the low levels of it but you can get yourself maybe the first 35 scrolls uh, to open up like the offense masteries or the support masteries you know get yourself a bit more accuracy or get yourself a bit of crit, crit damage so yeah that's what i'd say for now um when i do get some summonings uh, hopefully been collecting these rewards across the bottom so just trying to get that done at the minute but yeah i am going to get to hold of some new champions somehow hopefully um and then yeah we'll cover a few more bits once i can get past the bit i'm stuck on at the moment okay brilliant anyway i'm out thanks for watching